Hello again, everyone. This is Mark Shaw, and today we're going to take a look at the Hi-Fi Berry DAC+. Plus. In one of my previous videos, we set up the Sunvox synthesizer software on the Raspberry Pi using a regular old MIDI keyboard in the Behringer UCA202 USB audio interface. It worked okay, but there was still some latency whenever using the MIDI keyboard, which doesn't make it a very good solution for musicians. So I'm eager to see if the DAC Plus will give me some better performance. It cost around $40 with shipping and is recommended by people like Adafruit for hi-fi enthusiasts, but I'm not really sure if musicians could use it too. I will say that I had some pretty interesting results that I hope you stick around for. So here's the package I received from the folks at Hi-Fi Berry in Switzerland. I purchased the DAC Plus Standard to be exact since it uses the same chipset as the Pro. Let's take a look at what's inside. Here's the DAC Plus itself in a nice ESD bag. And a small bag of plastic post mount screws to keep it secure. Sweet. Let's take a close up of the DAC itself. It looks pretty daggone nice. I do love some fresh electronics. You know, they gave me gold RCA plugs, which is something that only comes on the Pro. So I'm not sure why they put this on the standard. Maybe it's a new thing, but hey, it works for me. I'll go ahead and quickly get these post mount screws installed so we can slap on the deck. Everything fits pretty nicely, so we'll go ahead and secure it down. And lastly, we'll plug in all the cables we need. Now is the perfect time to prepare our SD card for Raspbian Stretch. And of course, Raspbian can be downloaded from raspberrypi.org. I like to get the torrent version because it downloads very fast. And once it's finished, I like to use the Etcher program to burn the SD card image. However, you can use Rufus as well. It's time to plug in the micro SD card and boot this sucker up. And voila, we're in Raspbian Stretch. So the documentation from Hi-Fi Berry says to first edit your boot config file. I'm old school and still use the pico command even though it just opens the nano editor. Simply go down to the bottom and add the DT overlay line to load the DAC plus driver. And then lastly, it is recommended to go ahead and comment out the parameter line for the onboard audio just by putting in a hashtag. It'll definitely make your life easier. Now we'll go ahead and give it a quick reboot and start downloading the Sunvox software so we can test this thing out. And here we are, a fresh install of Sunvox. First, we'll need to go into our preferences and select the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus in the audio output section. Okay, we'll give it a try. Bear with me on this. I'm just using my camera microphone for this particular recording. Well, it sounds okay, but you can see by looking at the oscilloscope that we're still dealing with some latency issues. When I press a key on my MIDI keyboard, it literally takes an entire second for a sound to be produced. So I'm going to change the buffer settings to 256 frames at 5 milliseconds and see what happens. Upon restarting Sunvox, I immediately started receiving a ton of also broken pipe errors in the console, and once I try to play a sound, nothing comes out. Now I've tried every single buffer setting using the also driver here in Sunvox, but they all have terrible latency or simply don't work at all. The alternative to these issues is using the jack driver instead, which gives you much better control over your audio settings. You want to make sure you change your MIDI device to jack as well. 
By clicking your Raspbian menu and selecting Run, you can type QJackCTL to run the GUI for configuring Jack. Here you want to make sure your frames are set to 256, your MIDI driver is set to RAW or SEEK, and the interface option has the DAC Plus selected. This will save your settings to the .jackdrc file in your home directory, and we'll restart Sunvox and try this again. You may have heard the clicks from my keyboard before the sound was actually being produced. There was still terrible latency on all the default modules in Sunvox, except for keys number three for some weird reason. That worked, but the sound was incredibly amplified and distorted when I played it. So I decided to remove all modules and start from scratch with just a basic tone generator. And now I'm getting hardly any sound at all. After increasing the volume, I start to hear some faint noises, but not much at all. Mostly more crackling and distortion. I've tried a bunch of different settings in Jack and in Sunvox, all to no avail. I added the reverb effects module, and the sound eventually came out, but it was obnoxiously loud. So at this point, I just got incredibly frustrated that this $40 DAC for hi-fi enthusiasts is not working at all like I expected. I went through another few hours of troubleshooting, and I even compiled a brand new Linux kernel with real-time support, just like I did last time, but for some reason the Pi would just freeze up after about two or three minutes. I decided to install Raspbian from scratch yet again, and the first thing I did this time was run the rpi-update command which upgrades the firmware on the Pi to the latest and greatest, including new kernel builds when they're available. Even after all that work, nothing changed a bit. So just for grins, I went ahead and did a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the DAC Plus and the UCA202. I'll start with the DAC Plus first. Now this time I have the output being recorded properly, not using a camera microphone, so you can hear the differences with much more clarity. As you can see, the latency is off the charts awful, and there's major crackling as well. I'll test it out once more with bypassing the effects chain and going straight to the compressor. And now I get pretty much nothing but senseless noise. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the old UCA202 again. I'm certain there's going to be some latency problems here again. Now wait a minute, that was damn near perfect. No latency at all. Let's just make sure I'm not going crazy and try this DAC Plus one more time. Well, okay then. The answer is quite clear. The Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus pretty much sucks for musicians using MIDI. The Behringer UCA202 works great now thanks to Raspbian Stretch and running the RPI update command. I used 256 frames in jack and now made this Pi a very playable instrument. Not to knock the guys from Hi-Fi Berry, because perhaps this DAC Plus works well for people that are just creating a media player box of some sort, but I definitely cannot recommend it for musicians. 
in conclusion, try out the UCA202 with the latest version of Raspbian, and don't forget to run that update. I hope this video has been informative. Click that subscribe button to check out more cool videos and songs that I release in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.